nobody wants uh, former Vice President Joe Biden uh, to run again. You can correct me if you think I'm wrong. His campaign video is inaccurate, verifiably, on almost every single front. This morning, <laughs> former Vice President Joe Biden, respect the office, former Vice President Joe Biden, mm -hmm. announced on Twitter that he would be running for re-election. And uh, this is going to be a bit of a longer clip because we will go through it point by point, dissecting claim and truth. He announced his new campaign in video format. Did Michael Bay do this? <laughs> In a world. Freedom. <laughs> Try the Transformers. Of Personal <laughs> freedom is fundamental to who we are as Americans. When he said freedom, he just undid his belt buckle. Yes. <laughs> That's been the work of my first term, to fight for our democracy. This shouldn't be a red or blue issue. To protect our rights, to make sure that everyone in this country is treated equally, and that everyone is given a fair shot at making it. Liar! Bookmark it. We'll get but back you know, to it. around the country, MAGA extremists are lining up Mager. to take on those Mager. big rock freedoms. Yeah, Mager. Cutting Social Security. <laughs> Dumpster you Mager. for your entire life while cutting Vod taxes for the very wealthy. <laughs> dictating what health care decisions women can make. Banning books and telling people who they can love. All while making it more difficult for you to be able to vote. You should be able to shower your daughter. Yes. <laughs> and, and everybody else's daughter, apparently. Yeah, apparently. what a dick. His I mean, freedom involves a, a nasal decongestant. When I ran for president four years ago, <laughs> I said we're in a battle for the soul of America. And we still are. The question we're facing is whether in the years ahead, we have more freedom or less freedom. Oh, more oh rights he's, or fewer. he's the freedom guy. Unbelievable. He's the freedom guy. I am my blood too. pressure. I know. I this know. I can see it. It's like B.B. King right before he died. That's why I'm running for re-election. I don't know. Why could a BB King? Uh, no, uh, diabetes. One of my favorite moments, by the way, before we move on to the claims of the truth, one of my favorite moments in the history of this show is yesterday. <laughs> Nick got so mad. I don't remember if it was Joy Reid. Oh, I could he just talk. went, oh, nice hairdo. You, oh, I can't. Like, <laughs> I know. I went like, back complete, to open mic. You were so angry. <laughs> But here's the thing. Let's go through this. Okay, let's go through this point by point. The claims that he makes. Mm. Here's a claim that former Vice President Joe Biden makes in there that freedom is integral to uh, mm. Biden's ethos. Mm -hmm. First off, uh, click like if you're watching on YouTube right now and you know that everything that guy just said is bullshit. Okay, <laughs> because here's the truth. Yeah, Joe Biden, former vice president, is all about freedom unless you want to start a business, of course, because he added uh, regulations that are unprecedented or if you want to protect yourself or your family with a firearm, or if you believe in parental rights and you don't want to transition your children, or, of course, if, uh, you know, you believe that you should be able to drive a car that uses the evil fossil fuels. So outside of that, he's all about freedom. Uh, also, if your credit score is a little too high, you're going to be punished for it. So it's, it's freedom if you understand that freedom means it's not. Right. <laughs> Did I miss anything? No? I think you yeah. covered just about okay. all of that. All right. Yeah. You can always jump in, Gerald, if you have anything you need to Yeah. I thought, I thought you had a point there. No? Okay. Well, here's another claim. I'm looking at you for this one, this Gerald my A. My bad. We're going to downgrade you to C. Uh, Gerald! Biden says that he was fighting for democracy, or he has been fighting for democracy, former Vice President Biden. Okay. Here's the truth. And all of these references are made publicly available so that you can fact check us. He signed 22 executive orders in the first week, the most since the 1970s. The majority of those, this is a good point to jump in, the majority of those were actually just to undo Trump. Right. All the stuff that Trump did. First one, Keystone XL Pipeline. So if yeah. you want to be energy independent, he's not so much your guy. Well, you're also free to pay you know, twice the amount for gas. That's a freedom. Yeah. Free to pay more for everything. I mean, it's freedom if you don't actually qual if you don't use the definition of freedom. Hmm. You know, it's just we're changing them. Like male, female, it's not a thing anymore. Okay. And I think if the research team can grab it, I think he did 100, he signed 160 in his first year. It was about 160 in the first year. So we wanted to have a good comparison for you. Yeah, actually, compared to Obama and Trump, I think it was. Obama's was it, 35 and Trump 35 was, was like 55 was in 55. his first year. Yeah, so. So that's, I'm not a math Asian, but three times as many. That is three times. But the, I think the key point that they made here was that typically in the first week, you may get one, two, three right. of these. 20 Two. Yeah. The first thing he did when he walked into the Oval Office, essentially, was revoke the Keystone Pipeline approval. Yeah, and half of them, oh. half of them involved toddler scratch and sniffs. He doesn't even like the executive well. orders. Have, it's almost like they have nothing to do with policy. Seven of the yeah, exactly. They were banning kids from the Oval Office, which he repealed immediately. But I don't know. I don't have a degree in political science, so don't take my word for it. Uh, so then he, then he blew something up. He banned the pipeline. Yeah, exactly. That. No, 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 no. Allegedly, allegedly. We have no idea yeah, who yeah. did that. Allegedly. No, no, you're actually right.
I mean, right, you know, yeah, Nord Stream blew itself up. Jacques Cousteau's ghost. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking for the spotted octopus or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what is this? Uh, energy independence? Not on my watch. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse Ventura was there. I was in an underwater demolition unit. <laughs> Fine. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> I won't question oh, you. I'll get God. <laughs> Here's another claim that he makes in his video that uh, he wants to make sure everyone is treated equally. Oh, boy. Is anyone buying this? I mean, I'm at the point where... Nope. Is anyone buying this? If you're watching on Rumble, smash the Rumble button here. It's, it's, and you can comment below. It, does this actually work with anybody? Because here's the thing. If you look at the Democratic voters, they're not demanding more freedom or choice. This is, as I've said, the left. Biden, Democrats, always have to run as centrists. They always yeah. have to present as centrists in order to be elected. Contrast that with the right. If you look at even the primary right now, DeSantis, you look at Trump, yeah. they have to present themselves to be as conservative as possible and do the same in a general election. Otherwise, they stand no chance at winning. One side is actually incentivized to deceive you. So he says he wants to make sure that everyone is treated equally. Okay, mm -hmm. here's the truth. Former Vice, Bi uh, former Vice President Biden's Justice Department, right, it urged the Supreme Court to drop the affirmative action case mm -hmm. against Harvard from Asian Americans, where, uh, you know, Asians said, hey, Harvard told us we're full up. Too many of you uh, deservingly are scoring off the charts and mm -hmm. we're going to reject you from the schools because affirmative action, unfortunately, bit them in the ass when Asians who come from strong family households who value uh, studying hard, getting good grades, they were being denied entry. They were being discriminated against based on their race. <laughs> then Biden said, no, 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 <laughs> let's keep that going. <laughs> Let's keep you Asians out of higher education. And then they blame us for saying that we are promoting hate towards Asians. I'm like, you literally want them to have a worse life because they don't get the education they deserve. Isn't it freeing to just be consistent, to say, yeah. that's a meritocracy. I don't care if you're Asian, if you're black, if you're white, you get the best grades, you get going to college. They have to say, no, no, but if you're black, you get, but if you're Asian, but not if you're too Asian, if you do too well as an Asian, it can never be consistent because progress for progress sake has to self-destruct. Are we the only ones seeing these inconsistencies? You want me to believe the the, the rest of the no. country is that stupid? No. And if they are, you know, they always shit on Trump supporters. Yeah. How about people who support this shit? Well, you know I'm what? I'm in this poop. You're what is it? AM? <laughs> 8 o'clock? <laughs> this say caca. shit. I um, said it several well, times. Well, that's Spanish yeah. for, I mean, come on, that's not better. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, is it? Supporting this uh, feces. The romance languages. I don't know where it comes from. Uh, this still sample. No, but you know what? It's a good, good point. And here's sort of a contrast. People on the right expect some kind of truth from their candidates. People on the left, they know. That. Do you think any Democrat voters actually buy this? Do you I think do. that they're voting for? I don't know. I don't think Democrat they voters want Steve, it. I, think this I is for don't the, know. I really don't. I, don't I mean, the younger kids are so brain. They've been marinating in this crap. Since yeah, but they don't. They don't vote in mass. Like they don't the vote enough. People do right. So when they do something like this, they're like, oh, here's what happens. Oh, they must know better than I do. It's social engineering. Yeah. Asian hate from the left, so we have to support Asians in just about every single thing they do, unless we talk about black on Asian crime, and then we have to stand out of the way because that's the other minority Olympic game, that here, the oppression Olympics that we yeah. have to play. And then, by the way, in minority yeah. Olympics, uh, the Different. blacks always win. They do, yes. That's, it wouldn't <laughs> in, in actual Olympics, I should in say. In minority fans. Olympics, the trans win. But in actual Olympics, <laughs> oppression yeah. Olympics, on the other hand. It's just better than the black guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> unless it's world's strongest man, then it's Iceland. Right. Go ahead. But then they do the school thing, and they go, oh, well, they must know best. Of course, we don't want just Asians to go to this. We, we need diversity, not diversity. Diversity of thought, diversity of skin color. That's yes. what they want. Yeah. No, right. I understand your point, Nick, but here's the thing. I think yeah. this is the unwritten agreement between former Vice President Biden and his voter base is going, you know that I don't really mean this, but I have to appeal to the middle enough to win an election. Whereas, again, with Donald Trump or DeSantis or whoever the nominee is, they have to make sure that their base trusts them. Would you vote for a Republican like a Lindsey Graham or a Mitch McConnell? You probably wouldn't vote. Not with a guy who has no chin. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And Lindsey Graham, yeah. That goes back to Harlan Williams. Here he goes, I have no chin. If I drool, it goes straight down to my underpants. Straight down to my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I remember seeing him live. I was Here's like, my favorite weird. joke. He goes, I like to cook. I uh, Recently, I bought a five-pound beef, beef tongue, and I cooked it in vegetable oil. You know what I call that dish? Lick my greasy ass. <laughs> That's the joke. That's the joke. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> just made it. And up. I'm sure you're. Peter. I love it. My grace. I freaking love that guy. No, I think that they have to appeal to this sort of middle ground, whereas uh, conservatives have to appeal to the base to some degree. And I love that you can comment below if you think that I'm wrong. I think Nick brings up a valid point. I just see the world. Uh, Similarly, but differently. Hmm. I'm probably, uh, you know, more angry beneath the surface than Nick, but his is there for all to see, which is fun. Yes. Uh, I saw so, you prevent heart attacks, Steve. <laughs>
So here's the truth as well, another truth, right? We just talked about the Harvard case. Biden invited this, of course, black shooting victim, Ralph Yarl, to the White House. Hmm. Not invited six-year-old Kinsley White, white girl who was shot for trying to retrieve a basketball. So you have the empirical as a matter of policy. Of course, he supports equity. And I've been very clear about this. You can either support equality or equity. You cannot support both. Equality means equality of opportunity. Mm. Equity means ensured outcomes, which has to forbid equal opportunity for certain groups like Asians and Harvard. Yes, exactly. And people that have the last name White and happen to also be white. The problem there with that last one, though, is that it was a black man who shot her father, her, and I think one other person was hit by some kind of a fragment in their family as well. This person was shot by a black man. No headlines, black man shoots white girl. But in the previous story, white man shoots black guy. Yeah. They didn't want to draw attention to it, and they wanted to paint Well, white man shoots black ridiculous. guy. It's a novelty. So they like it in well, the media. It's a statistical fair, yeah. novelty. Let's be honest here as far as interracial crime. I mean, I know the DOJ stopped recording the victims of the crimes of perpetrators, or well, at least they stopped recording interracial crime statistics. You either helpful. can get the perpetrator or the victim, but not both. They used to register them accurately. So there's a novelty of, you know, of, of, of a white man shooting a black man. Despite what you believe, um, it's actually not nearly as common. Here's another claim in Biden's wonderful oh boy. rambling video that Republicans want to control women's bodies. He wants to control the water ah, They're right there. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to control the water temperature for girls in the showers. Like, well, no, 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 I like it cold. <laughs> <laughs> remember that remember that Come when on, Ashley Dad, Biden freezing. wrote about it in her yes. diary and they said this isn't real and then they decided to raid James O'Keefe going okay alright but it's real but you stole it and he's like I didn't steal it like well the story's passed <laughs> <laughs> wait did she shower with her dad the former vice president yeah yes oh is that what was that a serious question yes <laughs> <laughs> so his claim is that Republicans want to control women's bodies. Here's the truth. Dobbs versus Jackson, the most egregious example that they want to give you. Ever. The Supreme Court decision, it returned abortion to the states. Women oh. are still free to abort a baby in a majority of states. And then other states that think, you know, if a baby is viable, for example, or if unlike Virginia, they don't believe up until and including birth or after birth period, they're free to implement the laws that they want to. And just so you know that this is true, you can see their rhetoric where now they have abortion tourism. So they know that there are states that have radically pro-abortion. Yeah. laws and people are leaving their state to go get a, a, abortions performed in those states which of course they want to subsidize on the left so their arguments hold no water when you see their own arguments that they make depending on the audience at any given time i think you said uh, uh you, you meant to say that we are depriving people of health care Stephen. Because, yes yes that's that's the commonly yes. used and uh, i was way off yeah i apologize you guys can admonish me. We're depriving women of health care. Yes. It's science. Because I saw Nick just standing out front of the clinic, just slapping insulin needles out of a beast bitch's hand, just like, get out of here. <laughs> health care. Nothing more healthy than sticking a coat hanger in a kid's eye oh, socket. Yes, exactly. Jeez. Yeah, no, it's hey, health. Hey, that's an that's a anti-abortion joke. Relax yeah. over there. No, it's the, new, it's, the new, pictures. it's the new women's gym. It's curved hangers. <laughs> 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 Jenny Clump of cells. So here's another Aww. claim. <laughs> Weight removers. We can go all day. Jeez. Here's another claim uh, that Republicans want to tell people who they can love, which is, I know, so stupid. I, I know a lot of you are angry that I'm addressing it. <laughs> And I want to kick my own ass, but I kind of have to because he said it. He started it. it. <laughs> so here's, does that, again, com does anyone actually believe this? Do you actually believe that Republicans want to tell people who they can love? Even if you could go back to the most homophobic redneck who didn't think that queer should get married and you Joe. guys all wanted to label him hateful. He doesn't <laughs> care who they love. He's like, yeah, so Elton John believed in civil unions because he said marriage is for boring heterosexual peoples. There is no Republican right, who yeah. wants to tell you who you can love. Some of them think it's gross. <laughs> Here's the truth. <laughs> Biden is, I'm guessing, referring to a Florida bill that prevent you know, the don't say gay bill, which, by right, the way, yeah. appears nowhere in that bill. Correct. It just says that you cannot teach hypersexualized issues, mm -hmm. right? Here's the actual wording. Instruction from the classroom by school or personnel or third parties on sexual orientation or gender identity may not occur in kindergarten through grade three or in a manner that is not that age appropriate. That's it. A through three. Five I know. To eight-year-olds. Ex exactly. <laughs> That's going too far. How about how about the twenty one? Yeah, exactly. Okay. We all knew about our sex lives. Yeah. Can you tell me how third you grade? Can you tell me how you plowed your partner over the weekend? Yeah, exactly. How's it Two, going? Three, yeah. third, I did third it in the sandbox. Yeah. yeah. 
And by the way, the Biden administration is, just to be clear, in the contrast to that, forcing a notably LGBTQ AI agenda uh, on America by appointing LGBTQ activists. And not because they are, but actually in spite of the fact that they're supremely underqualified and have a long and storied history of being bad at their jobs. He also, by the way, told Dylan Mulvaney that not the person responsible for Bud Light sales uh, tanking, <laughs> mm -hmm. that uh, not transitioning kids is immoral. I think that uh, it's really important that Shut we up. continue to speak <laughs> out about the basic <laughs> fundamental rights of all human beings and the idea. Oh my God! The idea that, that girl. was going Looks on. Looks like a shadow you know, man. She might have balls. In Your some Honor. states, I won't get into the politics <laughs> of it, but in some states, it's just it's outrageous, and I think it's immoral. Ooh. The trans part's not immoral. <laughs> oh, you had the, it right. What they're trying to do to trans Wrong. persons is immoral. And what he means by try to do is parental rights where you have the right to prevent your six, seven, mm -hmm. eight-year-old child from permanently rendering themselves infertile. That's immoral. Biden is not only a liar uh, and a failed former vice president, no one wants him to run again. <laughs> this is from CNN. 70% of Americans, 51% of Democrats. Holy cow. Just to be clear. 51% of Democrats 51% of Democrats don't wow. want him to run again. And he's not going to. impressive. You can't get 51% of Democrats to agree on anything outside of no. castration. Mm -hmm. He's not going to make it. You don't, you don't think, think so? he will? He's going to get up to piss in the middle of the night, trip on something, <laughs> bust his head on the tub. I'm telling you. He <laughs> is. I'm, I'll bet anybody here. I think they're, they're going to come up with something. They're going to come up with something. I no? disagree. I think he probably has one of those tubs that the door opens that they uh, sell on Oh, that's yeah. right. I wanted one of those. <laughs> he hover rounds to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> I want that an acorn stair lift. Yes. <laughs> you have a come home ship face, it's staircase looks like a Mount, Mount Charles. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what the hell's Mount Charles? It's a club I just played. Uh, <laughs> the the, the, the bathtub with the door. Yes. It's like, it's like, it looks like someone just came out of that room yeah. from Event Horizon. And in Biden's case, it probably looks very much the same. I yeah. lift my leg now to get in the tub. You see your balls on the mirror? look like a great dance. No, why do you have a Look like Joe Lewis. But if you're getting, you're lifting your leg, that would mean you have a mirror in the bottom of your tub. I do. Who are you, Joe Biden? Yes. He loves My looking, niece lives right, but, but right under me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I thought there was something odd with the mirrored by shoes. The <laughs> by the way, you know how most people announce their re-election? Stadium, a tour. That's mm -hmm. a good a point. giant that's, crowd of people. That's a good point. Biden did a video where they're like, can you just use a lot of what I did say already so I don't have to say it again? I can't say that many words. <laughs> that's yeah. a great point. Point. There's a yeah. there's a there's a marathon of Matlock. Remember his campaign? There was like four Toyotas out there. Yeah, and one person <laughs> in each. I bet you he gets confused when he watches Matlock. Like, what? Matlock's in a car chase. What? In holy <laughs> Wait, hell! Where's Perry Mason? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, smash the Rumble button if you are watching on Rumble because uh, we want as many people to go over there as possible. No one really wants you on YouTube. And no. at some point, we won't be there at all. Now, here's the other thing. Before his announcement. Mm -hmm. Uh, Biden made his most, and a lot of times people throw this term around, I mean it. When I say communist, I mean communist. Uh, a communist statement, as, m as close to communism as I've ever seen from an American former vice president to date. Rebecca put a teacher's creed into words when she said, there's no such thing you as think someone looks like else's Maverick. child. I know. No such thing as someone else's child. Our nation's children are all our children. Ah. Uh. There's nope. no such thing as someone else's child. Well, in their view, it takes a village to raise a child. And so that's how, uh, that's how we deal with it there with former Vice President Biden. Yeah, they're good, good to the draw there, tool man. With you. <laughs> the kid looks happy. <laughs> I don't remember the village people having Coney in it. That's, I don't know what that yeah, they was. They expanded. <laughs> Coney. And you know what? Actually, Nick, you made this point yesterday, and so we decided to sort of reiterate it for people yeah. who missed yesterday's sure. show. Uh, a lot of you were saying, why? Why are they doing this? Why are they trying to destroy these institutions? And it starts with destroying the family, nuclear family. You're it right. Really, That's the enemy. Because before, and I've talked about this before. Before you have federal government, before you have state government, municipal mm -hmm. government, you have self governance, and that can only happen through the family. That's why there were laws to encourage families. That's why there are tax incentives to encourage families, because a strong family unit encourages a moral society, and we fail to have a society that can function without strong family units. And that's why you hear the rhetoric from the left. It takes a village. There is no other person's child. And then, of course, they want the government to take your children away if you don't transition them. Now, here's something you may not know. Marx and Engels, they were huge proponents of abolishing the family unit. Yeah. That, as a matter of fact, was step number one. Let me read you a quote. And this one doesn't include the N-word from Karl Marx. Like, we, you know, he, he loved using that. We had to search through a lot of quotes. Some don't, artists don't paint don't with watercolors. Don't make me like him. <laughs> 
<laughs> he said, on what foundation is the present family is a bourgeois family based? On capital, on private gain, in its completely developed form, the family exists only among the bourgeoisie. The bourgeois family will vanish as a matter of course when its completement vanishes and both will vanish with the vanishing of capital. They oh, wanted goodness. no family unit and you just heard Biden say there's no such thing as someone else's kid. Actually, there is. Mine. Why? Because you shower with yours when she was reading yeah. Teen Beat. Well, and look, every every kind of despot leader who's trying to completely change society has tried to use this. So there's kind of these famous stories in Cambodia. When I was over there, I found out about this. I had no idea uh, how terrifying the killing fields were. There was over a million people killed. Everybody was pushed out of the cities into the countryside. And what the government actually did, there was a chilling scene in, I think, the killing fields, the movie that came out. It basically showed a kid walking up to a chalkboard. Sorry, my pants wrote up. You're fine. It, so it people, you can't see. You don't <laughs> yeah. have your pants right up when the scene gets in the wrong place. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Talk you about the killing field. Camera. It's uh, killing. So it's killing was, my ball field. There right was <laughs> there was a chalkboard <laughs> with stick field. figures of a family, like two two adults and two kids, but they were all holding hands. And a child walks up, grabs the eraser, and erases the hand holding between the parents and the children. And the state officer starts clapping. Mm -hmm. Basically, your loyalty is not to parents. There is no family. Your loyalty is to the state. Yeah. There is nobody else that you should be loyal to or take direction from. It's chilling to think about that as parents. Yeah. That the state tries to make it their job. It's an to important raise your kids. point. Gerald, that wasn't uh, the killing fields. That was Porky's too. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and they were they were Where's Cambodians the were big Will Smith I mean, fans. <laughs> parents just don't understand. <laughs> and then you get slapped. <laughs> There's no such thing as someone else's kid. That was uh, John Wayne Gacy's quote in his yearbook in yeah. high school. And he did it in clown makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, conclusion here is uh, nobody wants uh, former Vice President Joe Biden uh, to run again. You can correct me if you think I'm wrong. His campaign video is inaccurate, verifiably, on almost every single front. Says he cares about personal freedom. That's a lie. Says he stands for democracy. That's a lie. Says he wants everyone to be created, created equally. That's a lie, especially if you're Asian, if you're white. He says that Republicans are trying to control women's bodies when that's not true. He says Republicans mm -hmm. care about uh, who you love. That's not true. He wants to control people. On top of all that, he is openly advocating for communist ideas right out in the open, like you have no parental rights and your children are not your own. Did I miss anything? If I did miss anything, comment below. If I didn't, hit the like button so that the algorithm gets this in front of people who actually may need to see it, but they probably won't anyway, even if you enter in the title. Watch Louder with Crowder live, Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.